what's up guys it's your girl abby welcome back to another video today's video is just gonna be a get ready with me date night edition um i've never done a get ready with me video and i've seen them you know with my other youtube favorite youtubers that i love so i was like why not try it um just get ready for date night give you guys some ideas on the look on an outfit um so I'll give you guys all the details today and i'm also gonna do a quick tutorial on this glitter liner get into the glitter liner guys it's such a such 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 an easy look um, it's super super easy so I was like I have to include it in this video um, it's super cute for date night I love this kind of look it's so glam but it's so simple and anyone is gonna be able to do it so I was like I have to include it in this get ready with me because it's that easy so I'm very very excited and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're new here sorry what's up my name is Abby welcome to my channel um, please be sure if you haven't if you're not subscribed please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join the apps Gomes family um, I have have a bunch of different videos from challenges just funny videos to you know beauty videos about makeup and all these different things so you can find a bunch of different videos um, different types of videos in my on my channel so thank you guys so much for tuning in today so if you're ready to get ready with me for date night choose this bomb look and hair and just everything this whole fit grab your brushes grab your eyeshadow palette just grab your makeup and let's get ready all right guys so let's get into this video as you can see with the towel on my head i just got out of the shower um i just did my brows up real quick and prepped my skin for makeup i posted a photo a few weeks ago um i don't know if you guys remember but i'll leave it right here um, I did a glitter liner look and I really wanted to focus on that today and I just wanted to chat with you guys like nothing formal nothing too crazy just you know I've never done a get ready with me before so I just wanted to do that with you guys today so yes but everything that I use I will definitely link it down below so I'm using this elf jelly pop dew primer It has like watermelon. I've used it in other videos. I don't know if you guys remember, but I have used it in other videos. It's like really hydrating. And we all know that my skin is very, very dry. So I have to, especially right now that it's so hot and humid, I have to have like a bunch of hydrating products on my skin. If not, my makeup will not stay and it'll like come off throughout the day. Yeah, not cute um, and then I'm gonna use this do you fresh glow luminous face primer this is like a new product that I bought and you guys won't believe this I bought this at TJ Maxx for $10.99 yeah and I was surprised that they had my shade honestly um, oh well I'm tripping this is the primer but yeah so I guess they had two different kinds do you fresh glow luminous face primer this is in the shade radiant nude they had a different one that this one's more like this one is more like um rose gold kind of vibes and the other one was more like really white pearl kind of vibes so I liked this one because I didn't want the other one I thought it would have been too um too white on my skin it was more like um i think it was called pearl nude or something like that but yeah it says this is infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber i tried it once before so it looks like this it's honestly really good and it feels really nice especially on my skin that i'm very very dry it feels really good and it is very glowy you can see I think this is perfect um it's not heavy at all um and applying this primer first the jelly pop this one is more like um 
those kind of primers that really like are tacky and I really like it because it's also hydrating but it's also like very tacky this do you primer is not as tacky it has like maybe a little bit but it's more just to glow up the face and put it under foundation or you can mix it with your foundation but I like to put it before my foundation it's usually 14 bucks and I got it for 10.99 at TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx because you can find so many things, especially makeup. They have so many different things. Um, and it's like super cheap. Sometimes it's a mess, but it's worth like digging through the mess and finding really good stuff. Um, and lastly, I'm going to put on top this last primer. I'm putting this Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but you guys have to, especially if you're someone that has like really big pores. I don't have really big pores, but that's because I'm really always focused on like taking care of my skin. But if you're someone who suffers with like really big pores and I know they have like, sorry, large pores and I know they have different kinds. They have like a, a matte one of these in the putty primer. Um, collection but I really like this one it really just smooths out my face if you can see and it makes it me look poreless like it really does like I saw this on one of my friends before and I was like dude what are you wearing because her face just looks so like flawless um, her makeup just looked beautiful so I was like and it's this and I've been using this for like a few months now this and this jelly primer I've been using this together first this one then this one and it's so good this is like my favorite favorite primers right now so I highly recommend it and obviously it's elf so it's not expensive at all oh sorry just got out of the shower my hair is like damp super super damp see crazy so don't mind my my crazy hair um so then the foundation i'm gonna be using is this do you full coverage F fresh glow foundation um this is and surprisingly they had my shade at tj maxx um this is in golden beige i have more warm undertones in my skin and they only had two this one and another shade and i was like dude they're not gonna have my shade at tj maxx i got this at tj maxx too along with the primer this was $10.99 as well and it's usually 16 bucks yeah this is supposed to be a fresh glow foundation again with watermelon and cucumber it says it's long wearing doing long wearing dewy finish hydrating and brightening so if you have like really oily skin I would stay away from these products I don't think it's something you'll enjoy you can try them um, again everybody's skin is different my face is very dry I'm a very dry skin person as I mentioned before so um, you may not like this product but I would recommend it more for people that have normal to dry skin but if you have oily skin you can try it maybe you like it you never know but just letting you guys know that it is very glowy foundation it's more like a medium coverage foundation um like very it's not like a full coverage foundation and i've been kind of staying away from full coverage foundations right now that i'm not really going anywhere and i'm trying to take care of my skin so i think this one it's infused with really great stuff and it feels really fresh on my skin so I really really like it um, and we're gonna see if it's long wearing I only wore it for a few hours last time because um, again we're not really going anywhere right now but it, it did stay on really nicely and it did leave my face looking glowy but not greasy because there's a lot of glowy glowy foundations that tend to make your skin look a little too greasy even for me that I have very dry skin but I like about this one is that it didn't make me look greasy like I looked glowy there's a difference huge difference between looking greasy and just looking um, you know glowy 
Let's see. It looks nice. It's like a subtle coverage. It's not full coverage. So if you're into full coverage foundations, don't even bother with this one. Because you can build it up, but it's not going to build up too. Um, sorry. Fun fact, I put a little on my ear. I know you guys saw that, so I just had to acknowledge it. I was like, I couldn't hide it anymore. They saw me. Um, I put a little bit, a little bit on my ears because my ears are usually like very red. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have an updo today. I'm going to do an updo or not. So just so everything could like match. Just a little. I don't like devour my ears in foundation but just like a little bit what are your guys's favorite foundations please let me know down below i'm kind of searching for some new ones to test out um because i want to do a video um to show you guys like my favorite foundations i do have a couple favorites but i'm always looking to try something new and my brother gave me like an ulta gift card for my birthday so I have yet to use it because I really don't know what I want. I've been looking through like Ulta's website but nothing really like jumped out at me that I would like to get. You know, nothing crazy. But yeah, if you can see, very subtle, very glowy. It's really nice though and like I said, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I feel like this is like the perfect um summer foundation i do two two layers of this just because you guys know i have as i mentioned before i've ha i have a lot of redness um around my cheeks that's just something i've always suffered with since i was a kid so i like to really make sure at least this area right here and like my nose and around my mouth is covered because that's one of my insecurities is my redness but yes let me know your guys' favorite foundations i'll definitely do a video letting you guys know my top like five favorite foundations but if there's any new foundation that you guys not even new if there's any foundation that you guys could recommend and want to see me test out do a video on i could definitely do that just let me know down below but yes, really, really good foundation. And you really want to take your time blending in foundations like this. I think that's so crucial. I feel like people really don't understand how important it is for you to take time blending in your base. Because it's your base and you're putting everything else on top of it. So just make sure you guys really have a good primer that you guys are working with. Hey, what do I want to do next? I think I should. Oh, concealer. No. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Okay, so I don't know about y'all. So if I'm wearing a glowy foundation, I don't like to wear like a hydrating glowy concealer. I like to like contrast it. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer in medium beige. You guys have seen me use this like a bajillion times in my other videos because I really, 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 really love it. And this one is not like... um it's not like a glowy finish but you guys see but it's like full coverage it's like a natural finish you guys see that nasty little thing don't stare at it it's gross i have to hide it so we still see it. Ah. but what have you guys been doing like for fun like with everything going on i know in colorado like they closed a lot of things again like the movies aren't open still here which is so sad because going to the movies is like one of my favorite things to do and especially summer like when all the new movies like all the cool really good movies are supposed to come out but it's like really depressing for me because so i love going to the movies and i would always go with my brother like Every time there was a movie that him and I liked, we'd go like maybe once a month. That was like our thing. So it's like so sad to me. Like me and Luis went to B-dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings on Tuesday. No, Thursday, Thursday. We went Thursday for their boneless night and like him and I hadn't gone out to eat at a restaurant and like 
since this whole corona thing happened like they had only been getting takeout and honestly i know you guys feel me that takeout from a lot of places is not the same like as eating in the restaurant like for example buffalo wild wings i've had really bad experiences with them as far as takeout like one time that me and Luis we had um dinner here at my house for my, for our anniversary and we got buffalo wild wings takeout and like the wings were like raw and they were cold and there was like they were naked like we don't get naked wings like we always get wings like i get hot he gets um bangle habanero and they were like naked there was like no sauce on them so i was like dude never again so he had a craving for a month or i was like yeah let's go whatever and um I was like, but I'm not about to get takeout. Like, if you want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, we have to go eat there. I was like, because you already know how I feel about them. So, so I'm using this Becca, Becca Hydro Mist, Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So good. It's weird. So it says, keep me closed to keep me cool. Dude, this powder is like insane. This powder is so cool because it's like a cool sensation. Like seriously, when you apply it, it's like cooling. And it's nothing like I've ever tried before in a powder. Usually powders, you don't get any cool sensations from it. No, this powder you do it feels cooling so it's not it's like hydrating it's not like very drying on your eyes on your skin there's just some powders that make you feel flat or you get a lot of flashback no not from this so if you guys want to try it and see what i mean you guys just it's one of those things where you just have to try it to see what i mean Whew. but yes it's really good so I got this shirt probably sophomore sophomore or junior year junior year I graduated in 2014 so I'm class of 2014 I'm old let's not even talk about it okay because I'm gonna cry but yes I remember that's when One Direction started getting really big I was like I need my shirts I got this shirt with my own money I don't even remember what website I got it off from but it still fits I definitely didn't have boobs back then so this is a little tight in this area because I was like flat chested I was like a late bloomer I don't know about you guys but my boobs really didn't grow until I was like I think after I graduated high school which was so sad because yeah I was part of the itty bitty titty committee when I was in high school and if you have small boobs, don't think I'm trying to come at you. I'm not. It's just me. I'm a late bloomer. I always wanted boobs. I always cry to my mom like, Mom, cuando me van a crecer? Like, uh. So yeah, I would wear everything and I was very flat chested. Very flat chested. So sad. So yeah, they didn't grow until I was like 18, 19. So obviously, I mean, it still fits. The shirt still fits nice. It's just... The only thing is kind of tighter in this area because now I actually have something on my chest. I don't have like a bird chest like I used to, so yes. But I was so obsessed with One Direction, guys. They're like, they're like literally like some of the happiest memories I had growing up was that I was so obsessed with them. Like my room, I had all their posters. I remember I would collect all the magazines those magazines like like kids bop or whatever the heck no that's a group i forgot the magazines but like yeah all the magazines that would come with like posters i would always be the first to have those i have like three of their shirts but yes i'm obsessed with them had all their posters i know all their songs <laughs> i had all the albums i even have a christmas ornament that someone gave me in college of them it says like Merry, they say Merry Christmas and 
I think there's like a song, but I don't remember. Were you guys obsessed with One Directions? Were you like, nah, I didn't like them growing up. They were not my thing. Uh, I won't, I won't hate on you if you didn't like One Direction. I'll just be like, why? They're beautiful. I'm like, come on, Harry, Louis, Zayn, Niall, Liam. My favorite, this one. Okay, if I could rate them, it'd be Zayn, of course, number one. Harry. Ooh, Liam. Niall. My favorite was Zane, so you guys can imagine my heartbreak when he left the band. It's just, oh, it's too much. Can't even talk about it. Just know I was a mess. Just know I was crying for months. I was a wreck. And even more because I remember they came for a concert in Denver at the Pepsi Center, like, when I was when I had started working at Burger King and that was summer of my junior year and they came July of 2013 and I was like dude like oh I start I just started that job so I was like I knew they weren't gonna give me time off like my manager was so mean she was so strict so I was like dude she's not gonna give me time off to go so I missed the concert when they all came and I thankfully went to a concert back in 2015 in San Diego. That's a whole other story. I gotta tell you guys, I have pictures, I have videos, but yeah, but it was when Zayn wasn't there. So it was just with the other four boys. It was still amazing and incredible, but obviously it wasn't the same because Zayn wasn't there. Okay, so just pause on the One Direction story. I'm gonna do the glitter liner so you guys can see how I do it. It's honestly super easy, which is why I thought I'd incorporate it in this video. Um, it's so easy, guys, like super, super easy. So I, you, what you're gonna need is your whatever black liquid liner of your choice. If you use gel or you can use that too. And if you prefer pencil, whatever you use, but you get your black eyeliner. And I have different options to choose from as far as the glitter. So these two are what I used for in that picture. It's the e.l.f. I don't know, Liquid Shadows. This is in the shade Disco Queen. So it's like a silver. This is a rose gold color. This is in the shade, shade Flirty Birdie. So if you can see, these are really inexpensive. I think they're like five bucks. So if you're lo you looking for like some glitter shadows I would recommend these okay so you guys already know how I do my liners so I'm gonna rush through this if you guys saw it in the last video I will do a eyeliner tutorial if you guys want so just let me know all right guys so I did my liner off camera as you can see it looks pretty it looks pretty crazy right now because there's nothing in colored in so I'm gonna use the elf Disco Queen liquid shadow. So what you want to do is after you do your liner, don't fill it in. Just leave it, you know, without anything inside. Don't color it in. You can do it as small. This will work if you want it as dramatic as my liner, or you can just do a little wing, whatever you feel comfortable with. So I like to get some of this, the liquid shadow, and I like to use one of these little thin brushes if you don't have this um, then just use any small brush that you have I just feel like this lets it apply it much better okay and then I'm just going to apply it like you see in that empty space where I didn't fill it in with black okay so I'm just dipping it in one more time Oop. is almost gone because I've been using it and a lot but it's really good do you see that nice and glitter right it's super cute this this glitter liner is so easy and you could honestly it goes with any look um, if you want to have more of a casual look um, or it's even like with a full glam if you're going somewhere like 
somewhere fancy, it looks nice, but this look is like super, it's super easy and you can do it for any, any occasion that you have. I just think the lighter makes it look so like, like if you look, like I don't know, it makes you look really like you tried so hard to do your makeup even though you really didn't. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. So cute. I'm just going to do the other eye real quick. And these are only five bucks, guys. So I highly recommend it. They have so many colors. They have blue. They have black. They have rose gold. They have gold. They have like a bronzy gold shade. Um, so I highly recommend these. And they have another silver color. I just liked this Disco Queen shade because it has like iridescent sparkles. So it looks really nice. You can see if that comes up on camera. But the only thing is that you do have to layer it um, to your liking because these are not like these could be very streaky, especially mine since it's like running out already of product because I've used it so much. You might have to layer a good amount. the trick is if you mess up a little bit like if the glitter goes too much where you don't want it to go just get your black liner and just clean it up with it you know what I mean so like I had glitter liner too up there where I didn't want it because I still want the black to show um, so I just grabbed my liner and just cleaned it up right here Or I didn't want there to be glitter liner. You feel me? So that's a really good hack. So yeah, look at the eyes. You really glittered out, sis. They're really, really good. They're really pigmented. Um, just like I said. Yeah, you can get these at Target. Um, you can look if they have them at Walmart. But I don't know. I got them at Target. And I just bought them online and went to pick them up. But that day. Recommend doing that because if you're someone like me who's lazy and just does not want to go into the store, just do that. Buy it online, pick it up really easy. Alright, so I'm just going to put on some lashes and mascara. You guys already saw me do this a bajillion times, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So I just cleaned up the little wing a little bit. A good hack to use is just the makeup wipe and just clean the edges just for that sharper cut eyeliner. And then I just popped some lashes. I wore the same lashes that I wore in my last video because I'm like obsessed with them. It's the Miss Lil USA 3D Foam Ink Lashes and this is in the style number 7. So highly recommend these lashes um i haven't seen the price because these were given to me but i'll leave the price right here in case you guys are interested um and i know they have an instagram page if you want to check them out miss lil usa so i'm just gonna finish the rest of my face but i hope you guys liked the glitter liner it's like so glam but like easy glam um, it's so easy and there's literally nothing to it um, but it still looks so flawless you still look so glam and like I said it goes this look goes with anything if you want you could dress it up with like if you're going to like a fancy dinner or something fancy day family party or whatever or if you're just you know you just want to get glam like it goes with any outfit um, and you could even match the glitter with whatever you're wearing I don't know what I'm wearing yet so and so I just put silver glitter so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that quick little glitter liner tutorial if you recreate it please be sure to tag me I want to see your guys' looks with a glitter liner hope you guys love it it's just so easy one of my favorite things that I've been getting into is glitter liner it's just so beautiful so easy and there's literally nothing to it literally nothing to it so just looks so good it just gives that little oomph with your liner you know it's just not a basic eyeliner look um, it just gives it that little a little oomph but go ahead and do the rest of my face so I'm using the Ace Butte, Ace Butte, 
I'm probably saying this wrong. Ace Butte Bronze in Paradise palette. I got this in a boxy charm, um, and I really, really like it. It's like these bronzy shades are not like patchy and they don't look like dirt on my face. A lot of bronzers, they're like not blendable and really just look like dirt on your face. But thankfully, this does not. Um, I'm grabbing this a la Mar Cosmetics bronzer brush. It's like a bigger fluffy brush because I don't really want to contour. I kind of just want to bronze up the face. I'm going to use this shade first. It doesn't have a name, but the second shade. What are some of your guys' favorite bronzers? I don't think I have found like a really like favorite favorite bronzer. I've used um, I think probably the top favorite bronzer that I've used is the Hula bronzer. It's so good. I've talked I've talked about it in my channel before. Sorry. Um I've talked about it on my channel before. It's like this Hula bronzer palette that I've bought and I really like it cuz it comes with like a, the light Hula bronzer and then the regular Hula bronzer and I just think it makes your skin look so good. Um, and it's not patchy. And it blends really nicely. And the colors don't look ashy on my face, which is something a lot of I've noticed with a lot of bronzers is that they can look really ashy on your face. But thankfully these don't, so I recommend this palette from Ace, again, I'm probably saying this wrong, Ace Beauty. Um, it's really, really nice. It has like deeper shades, deeper skin, for deeper skin tones. Um, so it has a nice, a nice variety, so anyone can really use this, depending on your skin tone and depending how dark you like your bronzer, how warm you like it. down here but me darme five pounds less to not look like I've just been eating all quarantine you always wanna bronze up that jaw sis yep so once you put your bronzer on I recommend blending it in with a nice blending big this is a dual fiber face brush so the biggest brush you have you always want to be sure to blend it in. I like to blend it in between like highlighter and blush. Always apply my bronzer first and then blend it so it doesn't look too crazy on my face. If you don't own one, this is from Real Techniques. I got it in like a Christmas set, but I really recommend this brush. I've had it for years. It's like one of the first brushes I had. It just always blends my makeup, my face makeup just really well and makes it look flawless without any patchiness and without removing any of my products. It just works so well. It's my favorite face blending brush, so I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a good face brush. I'm just gonna, this is a hack that I like to do when I put on highlight, I like to spray my face. Put setting spray first before I apply my highlight. I like to get my face nice and moist, nice and wet looking. And then, trust me, look how blank butter the highlight applies. This is the Morphe, Morphe X Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. I don't really like him, but I really like... I bought this because I really like Morphe and their setting sprays. I'm in love with the original one. If you haven't tried it, I recommend trying them out. They're so inexpensive. This one, the only difference is, is that it smells like strawberries. And honestly, I don't like things with a lot of scent, but the scent in this setting spray is not very heavy, so it doesn't irritate my really sensitive dry skin. 
So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like oldie but a goodie. So Hollywood Eliminator. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. This is like super old. It's one of like the first highlights I ever had. And my little big fluffy highlight brush. Watch. Watch how your highlight applies. Like butter, sis. It just melts with your skin because you applied the setting spray first. So go ahead, do yourself a solid, and try it out. Let's see how you like that the little highlighter hack. But yeah, I've heard a lot of things about the whole Jeffree Star drama. I know Mor Morphe's no longer working with them, with him, and they like discontinued his products. And I think they like put them on sale because they don't want to work with him. I really don't know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know much about the whole drama with Jeffree Star. I just know I never particularly liked him. I've tried products from his makeup brand. I wasn't really so crazy about it. As far as the lip products, I've never tried his eyeshadow products, but his lip products alone that I've tried, I've never really been crazy into them. I thought they were really drying. They dried my lips too fast. They were they're matte lipsticks, but and I know matte lipsticks are supposed to be dry, but no. Like dry down, but no. Like the product itself was just like really dry. It didn't last me at all. I didn't like it. Look how nice and glowy I look. Wow. So you guys. And I kinda go in on the highlight. I know that, so I'm gonna get my face brush again. Blend that in. But yeah, if you guys are a fan of Jeffree Star, or if you're not, let me know. I really, like I said, don't know the whole drama as to why um, Morphe quit um, working with him. I think it was something about Shane Dawson, but I'm honestly not going to lie to you. I really don't keep up with him like that, so I never really like got into the whole tea about what happened. But I particularly never really liked Jeffree like that. I always thought he came off kind of kind of rude very he was just too much for me you know like no i never was a fan of him so if you guys are a fan of him i'm sorry that i'm not don't hate me i'm just never been a fan of him i just cleaned up my list and i'm applying a little bit of carmex guys carmex is my favorite i know it can kind of dry your lips like it, it's not like a long lasting lip balm but I just love the flavor ones. They just always make my lips feel so good. So, if you guys have any recommendations for lip balms, like I said, you guys know I'm very dry skin person. So that includes my lips, my hands, like everything. I always have to have like really intense moisturizing products. What are some things that you guys have been doing for fun? Let me know some recommendations. I saw on Facebook, my friend Katavia uh, shared, hey girl, shout out to you. Um, I saw that she that she shared this post of like a place that you can go smash things like just go smash things I've never been to a place like that but that sounds really fun like there was a picture of a girl like smashing a car I think it was in another state but then she was like oh I wonder does anybody know if there's any in Colorado and I think some girl told her that there was one so I'm definitely gonna ask her about it because I'm so into that um, this blush, this blush, this blush is one that I've been using like every video. I'm sorry, but I love it so much. It's the Marbled Light Dusk in the shade Dusk by Ciate London. It's super cute. It's like a marbled blush, and I really didn't think at first that I was gonna like this, but it kind of has like a little sheen to it. If you're not really into glowy bl blushes, I don't blame you. I wasn't into them before but then I got into them well this one at least because it's not like there's some and this goes for even highlighters there's these illuminating products they have like really chunky glitter and it doesn't look good on your skin at all it just makes especially me that I have a lot of texture on my face like it just make it would make it stand out even more so I was always like afraid of wearing like um, glowy blushes but no not this one like you can see there's no residue of any glitter on my face just really nice color as well and it's just the way they pressed it is really nice so to the point where you're not gonna see any chunky glitter on your face it blends really nicely and it highlights my complexion really well so 
if you're on a search for a good blush highly recommend that one but yeah what are some things that you guys have been doing for fun with this quarantine really all i do is like eat work and shoot videos for you guys like we really don't go out like that like in the week i'm tired from work i don't really feel like doing anything i just come home and watch tv i'm obsessed with disney plus like all those throwback shows that i used to watch as a kid i'm just obsessed with those um so that's what i've been into i've been watching just a bunch of tv um did you speaking of disney plus did you guys see that they're gonna release the new mulan video the, the, mulan, the new mulan movie for 30 bucks to rent like, i think that's pretty pretty intense like 30 bucks to rent the movie like i really want to see it like i've always been a fan of mulan but i don't know 30 bucks because the subscription alone for disney plus i mean it's not expensive it's like 6.99 but then if you want to rent the movie it's 30 bucks a rental and i get it like people are losing a lot of money right now because movie theaters are closed and they can't release their movies and i'm sure a lot of money went into making that mulan film but 30 bucks a rental i don't know i feel like i'll do it but then i'm like what if the movie's not worth it you know because not all the disney remake movies that they like the real live remakes that they make are all good like lion king lion king is like one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid and i just was not a big fan of the live remake sorry guys i'm digging into my lip products i have a big thing of lip products and i'm trying to choose what to wear what should we wear with this look i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna wear like a navy blue crop top i'll show you guys it's so cute have i no i haven't worn it in a video before it's super super cute hmm I'm feeling kind of pinky today, which is a shock. You guys know. If you don't know, now you know. I'm not a pink lip person. So I guess we'll go with that today. Let me find. I thought I had a pink lip liner. Or even a red one would be cute with this. Or purple, I guess. Yeah, this purple one would look great. Okay. I'll try this out with you guys. I don't know why I was in the mood for like a pinky berry look. So let's try this. I'm using the NYX lip liner in Prune. Used this one before. I love NYX lip products. Some of the best lip drugstore lip products ever. Highly recommend it if you haven't tried them. this berry me shade from dose of colors if you haven't tried dose of color products what are you doing Ugh, they're amazing such a good brand for liquid i think they have some of the best liquid lipsticks or just lip products in general in the game i always stock up on their lip products around Black Friday because they have like a 50% off sale. So worth it. So cute. See, this isn't the pink shade. It's like a a berry shade so I love it I was like fine I'll wear this I'll wear this I guess and I just like to clean up my lips it was 
grab this little brush, little flat brush, and a makeup wipe. So there's another hack for you. Ooh. Look bomb or do my lips look bomb? Mm -hmm. I love this shade, it's so cute. It's so like grape, reminds me of grape. I look like a grape, grape color. I don't know if you can see it in, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it's like a very purpley pink shade. Love it. So, like I was saying, dose of color such a good shade it's like I don't know if it picks up on camera but it's like a purpley pink shade so I really like it because you guys know I don't really rock pinks I don't think pinks look good on my skin tone look good on me but I was just feeling a little bold lip today with these with these eyes that look really good mm. so I just need to go do this crazy hair and change my outfit once I do my hair and change I mean I'll, I would wear this on a date but it's not the kind of vibe I'm going for today so I'll be back guys Ooh, look who's back ya se arregló muy bien la niña so I just did my hair put on this blue top this is the one that I was telling you guys about it's super cute it's like a cute little crop top I got this at Walmart for like 12 bucks I saw it and it was like you know those purchases that you're like it's meant to be because it was the only one in my size and it was the only one of this shirt and it was in my size I was like God, thank you um, but yeah, I just wet my hair a little bit, put some product in it to make it not so poofy poof. Put some little hoops on, this little necklace that my mom gave me. But yes, this is the final look guys. Um, I didn't finish talking about Dose of Color, but yes, this is the lip that I have on. It's this very, no. It's Bury Me. It's in the shade Bury Me. I love it so much. And then I just wore the NYX lip liner in prune around my lips. So this is the final look. But yeah. So that is the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this first get ready with me. Get, let me know if you want more videos like this. I love talking to you guys. Just something casual and us getting ready together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Congrats to Crystal Vasquez for being the winner of the last giveaway. And she has been contacted and I have mailed her out the product. So I'm so excited for her to try it. Thank you so much, Crystal, for your love and support. And to all the Abs Gomes fan, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. More giveaways coming your way, I promise. Oh, 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 oh. And remember, I want to do a Q&A video just so you guys could get to know more about me because now I think this is probably the ninth or 10th video that I've done. So I've been doing this for, you know, a few months now and I just want you guys to get to know more about me. So I do have a couple questions that people have sent to me. Um, so please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm putting up like a, a little swipe up so you guys can just send me questions. But if not, please leave your questions down below. That should be the next couple videos because I have something very exciting for the next video. Just you wait. Turn on your notifications because you guys are not ready for the next video. Um, but probably the video after that. So in a few weeks, I will do the Q&A video. So please, 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 I would love to answer your questions. I love if we can just get to know more about each other. So um, please, if you could leave your questions down below. And I will answer it in the Q&A video. So yes, thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.